let me rest your mind at ease. Before you think I'm out to go after transgenders and be mean, I'm not. I want to be mean to the bullies. That's the essence of our video today. I take you to Minnesota and the State Department of Education. They just released a, uh, actually it's a 12-page document. It's called the Transgender Toolkit. It's on my website, Bill, uh, questionsbybill.com, if you'd like to uh, read it. And it comes about because kids who are dealing with transgender and the whole gender identity thing, they're being abused, especially in high school, being bullied and harassed or discriminated against. And let me tell you something, we can talk about transgender issues, but the issue of bullying, that we can all agree on, it has to be stopped. Now this document from the Department of Education is just absurd, as usual. One of the key things is, is the talk of changing pronouns. I kid you not. So instead of saying kids are boys and girls, you refer to them as scholars. Instead of saying prom king and queen, it's prom ambassador. And hey, I think we can all agree that nothing strikes fear in the hearts of bullies like changing pronouns, right? So ridiculous. Can I tell you a personal story about bullies? And by the way, if I had a child that was dealing with his gender identity, hey, we may have issues with that, and I personally believe that's not normal, it's not healthy, and so I want that kid to be surrounded by love and good counsel. But the bullying part, boom, nowhere, no way are we going to allow that. I had a kid that was bullied, beaten up in the, the uh, playground several years ago. When he came home and I saw his face, I said, you know where this kid lives? He said, yep, I threw him in the car. We went to the home of that kid. They let us in the living room, and I just said, hey, here's a story you see my son. And I'm here because this will never happen again from your kid, okay? It stops here and now. So the question is, are you going to stop it or am I? And let me be clear, I am willing to go into World War III, scorch the earth, don't care about collateral damage. This stops now. Good news is they stopped it. And even better, end of the story, that kid, joined my basketball team a year or so later and I coached him for a couple of years. Turned out really well. Every bully can be stopped, okay? But it's not going to happen by some ridiculous almighty edict from the Department of Education on high. That is so stupid. It's just, I, I just don't get it. It's going to be stopped by local people. The kid, his friends, his family, principal, teacher, those around him are the ones to get the bully against the wall and you simply stop it, whatever it takes. There's just no room for that regardless of the reason. And I'm still trying to find some value at all to the Department of Education, whether it be a state department or the National Department of Education. I realize that some of you are socialists and you love this whole, you know, where, where the Department of Education controls all the schools, everything's the same and equal, whether on the West Coast, East Coast, rural city, tests are the same, outcomes the same, that's the ultimate goal. I don't find value in that, maybe you do, but even beyond that, why are we paying for these departments of education? I don't know. But as far as the bullying goes, it will never be any Department of Education. It'll be those closest to the kid who loves the kids the most to stop the bullies.